Hello, heathens. We are here today to look at underwear. Uh, not, not particularly sexy underwear, but we are going to review some underwear because Paxis, this brand here, lovely people, they sent me some underwear, some packing underwear, and uh, I've got them on. No, but I got. The thing is, I'm just going to start on like explaining the underwear here. Here are some pictures. The bulge part here of the underwear, it's separate. It's not attached to the underwear itself. So. When you've used the boxes, you can just take the foam out. I'm going to show you the foam now, actually. Take the foam out. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Now I've used it. And then just... There we go. It's instant bulge. And it's great because it pretty much stays in place either way, even though it doesn't have a small pocket in the Paxis underwear, which is where you're supposed to place the bulge. Um, I'm going to get the underwear now, so you can look at the underwear itself in real life. Yeah, so these are the underwear. I'm going to put them on and just leave in a video here so you can see how they look on me. I'm not going to put them on right now. Uh, so I got the white ones and they also have them in grey and black at the moment, but they will probably like expand their colours or maybe even patterns later on if you want to wait a bit but the concept in general just as for now is this and then on the inside you've got this little pocket here in front yeah i don't it's very wrinkly right now because i never fold my underwear in any way uh i just leave it to dry on the floor then you got the pocket here on the inside where you slip pack it in here i'm going to do it you got your packer uh well <laughs> the packer the foam, I'm just going to show close up. Yeah, I put it in here into the little, the little hole, the little manhole. It's not this difficult, it's just because I'm trying to show you how to do it, so it's like the other way around. Then you close it with this lovely little button here, cute as a button on some packing underwear. Yeah, and from the inside, it looks like this. From the outside, a bulge. Yeah, lovely, lovely concept, and it's so much easier than like carrying around a fucking dick. I got my Mr. Limpy, I love it, I love the Mr. Limpy, but the practicality of this is that the Mr. Limpy, first of all, if you got it in your underwear, this is so much lighter, it's so much lighter, and the Mr. Limpy might fall out. For example, when I work out, I can't just run around with that. Even now, even though if I don't use this underwear, where I've got this pocket here, I can just put it in my underwear because my boxes are pretty tight, I like my boxes to be tight because, I don't know, it's comfortable for me. And then it will just stay in place basically, sometimes if I'm walking a lot or like jumping around, which I do a lot because I have a lot of energy, it will like end up sideways a bit, but it's way more discreet to like adjust your packer, this packer here, uh, compared to... <laughs> rearranging a Mr. Limpy because that's like a whole uh, stick and you have to touch the dick but this you can sort of just reach into your pocket and adjust it a bit because it's so light and it doesn't really like fall down your leg or anything it just stays put and that's what I really like about it also because you'll have to wash it eventually especially if you use it like I do when I put it also just directly into my underwear because then it's you know directly in contact with your body I would also wash it just just wash it even though you don't do that even if you just use this because you know it's close to your privates so you should wash it because that's hygienic and healthy and yeah just wash it uh, then you should wash it at 30 degrees Celsius uh, in the washer I will leave a link down below so you can but I think it's at on the FAQ part of Paxi's website so you can check just the directions about washing and everything um, yeah so that's really nice that you can actually wash the foam pack uh, I was a bit nervous about that at first but then I just google it and yeah you can wash it no problem I'm going to also show you a video of me just wearing the foam packer uh, because then you can see how it compares to when it's in the packing boxes and just in my regular boxes which I'm wearing now. Those are just my general thoughts about the Paxis underwear so far. I really like them because most of all like I mentioned they're super light and they're not as uncomfortable as a packer sometimes because if you don't have packing underwear where you can like slip the Miss Lempe for example uh, into a pocket in front which I do have from Rodeos. Now uh, you have to slip it into 
front pocket, which I suppose you can do here too, but then it would just be cock and balls. Not cock and balls, yeah? Loosely around in here. So this looks way more natural, I think, compared to having a Mr. Limpy. Mine is small, but it still sometimes looks a bit like a boner because it's still very much dick shaped and doesn't stay flat like this. So this looks way more natural and doesn't feel as bonery. I can go for runs with it. I can go work out without having, you know, when you lay down to bench press, it's gonna like be very visible if it's my Mr. Limpy. At least I feel like it's very visible compared to this, which is just like a regular bulge. So that makes me a bit less anxious about wearing my packer in public. And I, I do just call this my packer because I feel like it's such, like, it's so natural to just have it there. And also the material they're made out of, like, cotton, uh, it's just, it's so comfortable, so soft. I love them, just like, walking around the house with these on, it's amazing. So yeah, I definitely recommend you buying them instead of, for example, like a packer for the first time, which might be like, a bit intimidating if you've never had a packer. So like, opting for something like this instead, I think it's a very good choice, especially for the first time you're buying a packer, uh, because also you can just wash it in the washer. Um, yeah. And also it's changed the way I walk a bit, because the edges here, especially when I wear it just in my boxes without these on, um, they might like rub a bit on your thighs, uh, so I just spread my legs a bit, but that's gonna make your legs look like you actually have something there hanging around, like cock and balls, yeah? So that's nice, I think, because it makes you walk like you actually do have a dick and balls to make sure don't get squished. Um, so that's the nice part about this. I think that's about it for this review. I hope you found this video helpful. Maybe in the future, if you like, come up with something else that might be relevant, I'm going to mention that. My phone had the audacity to cut me off, so um, yeah, if you have any re video requests for the future, you can just DM me or comment them down below, because I would like to make videos that aren't trans-related as well, although this channel was explicitly meant for trans stuff. When I first came out, I was like, you know what? If I have to like, do this whole thing, I'm going to do it on YouTube because I've been confused as fuck. Anyways, yeah, just let me know if you want me to talk about anything. Anything, really. I don't care. I'm starting, I start on testosterone soon, so that's something you might be curious about. In less than three weeks, actually, I start on testosterone. No. Yeah? No. Yeah, actually, yeah, three weeks. It's insane. You can watch my last video if you want to, like, listen to my fears about starting on testosterone. It's not that I'm unsure of whether or not it's the right thing for me. It's just, like, for example, anger. I used to have anger issues. But I get into more details on that, on that in that video, so I'm going to link that down below as well. Yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, to Lou, fuckers, no, I'm going to start calling you heathens because I feel like if I keep calling you fuckers, that might get into get in my way of getting ads later on if I ever get to that point. So yeah, to the heathens, uh, take care, drink water, eat food, and um, just generally love yourself. I do. So yeah, bye bye. <laughs>